This is a haul video using my new $35 digital camera from Big Lots. And uh, so here we go. Um, all of this stuff came from the Stamp Attic, which is in San Diego. And um, I picked up the Cuddlebug embossing folders. And uh, they are the ones that are the edges for cards. I meant mostly cards. So there's the back. And I think we're going to try zooming in with our way so expensive camera. So I can't tell on the screen if that's really fuzzy or not. So we're going to widen back out as far as it will go. So that's the first thing. Then here's another set of the embossing folders for the edges of the cards. Each one of those were $6.95. And then this is another embossing folder. And it looks like that on the back. That might be a little bit easier to see. And we're zooming in again. And this one was $4.95. I also picked up the Perfect Pearls Medium by Ranger. Uh, a jar of Perfect Pearls. This one was called Sunflower Sparkle. The Perfect Pearls Brush. Not sure if that was really necessary, but it was there. I had a um, $10 off uh, frequent buyer card, so I pretty much picked up the Perfect Pearls items. This is a Perfect Pearls medium bullet pen, and the salesperson let me know that it was different than the um, than the other pens that I have, and it works with the Perfect Pearls. So we'll give that a try. Uh, so all of this. Four dollars, two ninety-five. So that's seven. I think that this was two dollars. That's nine, and the brush, eleven fifty for the Perfect Pearls to give it a try. Oops, Perfect Pearls up. And then they had a sale on their um, embossing powders. So I bought two of. They say the same. Uh, one is called Stamp and Bond, and it's an adhesive powder, and it's made by Stampendous. I'm going to hold this up closer to the camera. It looks kind of fuzzy to me, but um, I saw this in the Stampin' Up! catalog, and I asked them if they had such a thing, and that's what they gave me. They also have a similar product, she said, um, that is under their own private label called the Stamp Attic. And let's see... Can zoom in a little bit here. Got quite a shine, and that could be the lighting because this little camera has no <laughs> lighting control. So two bottles of those. The store brand was four dollars less twenty percent, and the um, Stampin' Bond by Stampendous was four forty. So. Each one of them was 20% off, so we'll see if there's any difference. I kind of doubt that there is, but it's a good comparison. And then this is called Fun Flock. This is also made by Stampendous, and I went for the brown because of my uh, need to make dogs. Jelly powders, and uh, they have a, like, it's kind of like Smell-O-Vision. They, or Scratch and Sniff, they are um, aromatic embossing powders. So you stamp and emboss just like normal. But the big difference is that they have a smell, and I think it lasts, I think they said about two, three weeks. So this one is Christmas pine scented, and I wanted to let you know that the fun flock that I got is actually called Cinnamon Toast. So that was my mini haul from the store called The Stamp Attic. They have an incredible selection, so if you're ever in the San Diego area and you want to check out just a zillion rubber stamps, they definitely have that. A lot of, of makers um, and then all the supplies they offer classes as well. So thanks for watching and I'm going to transfer this and see how it goes. I'll be doing another haul video to let you see what I got from Joann's in a bit. Thanks!